Bila shaka ni mahojiano na mazungumzo kuntu ndani ya studio zetu tuko naye mheshimiwa Njeri Maina the women representative kutoka katika county ya Kirinyaga. Karibu sana muheshi ndani ya studio zetu asubuhi ya leo. Shukran. Nimefurahia sana kuja hapa. Karibu sana. Habari ya kutoka last time by the way. Niko salama kabisa mwaka mpya unakupeleka vipi? Na tunashukuru Mungu sijui kwako. Hata mimi nashukuru. Unashukuru eh? visanga hapa Kenya lakini tunashukuru. Aha, ulipoa by the way eh? Kabisa kabisa. Kabisa kabisa. Mm. Alright, so nafikiri tutaingia into the conversation straight away na nafikiri tutaanza na yale ambayo ameangaziwa leo kwenye gazeti la The Standard kwenye ukurasa wa kwanza na wanazungumzia hapo ya kwamba Ruto's many battles na wanasema hapo baadhi ya masuala ambayo yamekuwa kiendelea katika serikali ya Kenya kwanza kwa mfano vuta ni kuvute kati ya serikali ya Dr. William Ruto ya Kenya kwanza na Abdul Fattah Al-Burhani pamoja na rais wa Tanzania Samia Suluhu Hassan rais wa DRC Congo Felix Shekedi rais wa Uganda Yoweri Museveni CJ Martha Kome lakini haya tutazungumzia tuangalie vuta ni kuvute kati ya Kenya na haya mataifa mengine I think this is the first time ambayo tunaona haya Mohesh What's your take? Uh, mwanzo nisemeye ya kwamba wajua Kenya ilikuwa imezoea kuwa big sister. Mm-hmm. E, lakini tukumbuke ya kwamba wakati wa COVID uh, watu kama Tanzania wakufunga nchi yao. Sisi no. tulifunga hapa tulikuwa tuna lose more than 3 billion per day. Okay. E, kwa hivyo pia e, tukumbuke ya kwamba kuna watu ambao wako nyuma yetu na wanakimbia kasi sana. Uh-huh. Kwa hivyo sio kama pale awali ambapo labda e, tungesema oh we are e, imposing mm-hmm. decisions mm-hmm. on Tanzania. Okay. A, na ni vibaya sana kuwa na foreign policy ambayo inaleta vurugu hapa East Africa. Mm-hmm. Manake our focus should be uh, removing trade barriers okay. tuhakisha kwamba watu wetu wanaweza kufanya biashara e, vilivyo Okay. kama ni kutoka hapa kwenda Tanzania, Uganda, DRC, Rwanda. Kwa hivyo foreign policy yetu kama serikali ya Kenya kwanza lazima tuiangalie. Na mimi nauliza eh, minister uh-huh. eh, CS wa foreign policy. Yeah. Hakikisha kwamba hatuoni hivi going forward. Uh-huh. Manake yeye mpoa kazi na William Samoei Ruto uh-huh. ana anafaa hakikisha kwamba anafanya hiyo kazi. Uh-huh. Okay, ukilinganisha na serikali ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta, alikuwa anaonekana kama darling wa haya mataifa mengine. It's a bit different na serikali hii ya Dr. William Ruto. Shida iko wapi Mohesh? Hatuwezi kusema kabisa eti manake miaka tano haijaisha. Okay. Na nimesema ya kwamba kuna CS ambaye alipoa kazi na William Samoei Ruto. Manake mm. president haizi fanya kazi yote. Mm-hmm. E, tunajua ni president ambaye yako hands on sana, okay. lakini haizi fanya kazi yote. Na wale watu wamwapa kazi lazima wahakikishe kwamba wanaifanya. Manake wampoa kazi on behalf of the e, people of Kenya. Mm-hmm. Na wasipofanya sisi tutaanza kuwavuruga. Okay. Kwa hivyo naambia CS tusione maneno kama haya tena. Manake he's giving a bad face to the uh, administration mm-hmm. ya Kenya na pia president wetu. Mm. Mm. Alright na kando na mambo ya CS na najua mheshimiwa wewe pia ni wakili. Na tumeona hali ambayo umekuwa akijiri uh, katika siku za hivi majuzi japo rais jana alisema ya kwamba he's ready kufanya dialogue na uh, na majaji um, katika mahakama za humu nchini lakini tumeona yale ambayo amekuwa kijiri vuta ni kuvute kati ya um, serikali ya Dr. William Ruto again na mahakama these are supposed to be independent institutions mbona rais aingilie kazi au idara ya mahakama kuna vitengo vitatu vya serikali kuna judiciary uh-huh. kuna legislature na kuna pia executive okay. na hatuwezi kusema kwa kabisa kabisa ya kwamba uh, kitengo chochote kiko independent manake ukiangalia kama judiciary uh-huh. bajeti ambayo wanatumia ina five petition pale bunge na okay. inapitishwa na wanasiasa uh-huh. ama wabunge uh-huh. uh, na pia ukumbuke ya kwamba Kenya e, tuko na vyama tofauti uh-huh. tofauti uh-huh. na chama kinachoshinda wakati mwingi unakutea kwamba e, president pia anatoka kwa hicho chama okay. Uh, kwa hivyo tuseme ya kwamba lazima wakubaliane ve, vile tutafanya kazi sio lazima eti e, ikuwe ya kwamba e, one arm inashawishi ama ina ushawishi mkubwa uh-huh. kwa the other arm okay. ama kuwa ya kwamba kuna interference ya independence lakini ni vizuri ya kwamba wamesema uh-huh. nataka tuzungumze uh-huh. uh, kulingana na maneno ya judiciary na pia e, upande wa mahakama yani mashtaka na pia corruption ama ufisadi ambao okay. uko huko uh-huh. lakini pia e, ni vibaya sana e, na inasikitisha kweli 
kuona ya kwamba kuna vuta na kuvuta yeah. maana executive of government mm-hmm. eh, inaweza kuwa overreaching kwa judiciary lakini hata eh, nchi kama US pia tunaona Biden pia na matatizo yake na Supreme Court kwa hivyo it is it is ni kama two siblings on a squabble okay. maana yake lazima waweze kufanya kazi pamoja uh-huh. na washirikiane mm-hmm. na, na na kwa kwa kwa, kwa uli yake rais uh, dr william ruto anasema kwamba he feels ya kwamba judiciary na frustrate is it the truth ya kwamba judiciary is actually frustrating the president au judiciary inafanya kazi yake if uh, something is wrong then it's wrong lazima wasimamishe kwa mfano the housing levy mwesh hmm. yes kuna vile ambavyo mambo yako na kuna vile ambavyo tungetaka mambo ya kuwe uh-huh. e, na tunajua kwa siasa ya kwamba uh, kuna watu ambao wakati mwingine wanatumika kuhakikisha kwamba serikali haijafikia uh, promise ambayo waliwapa wa Kenya. Okay. Na rais amezungumza uh-huh. na akasema ya kwamba zile kesi ambazo zimeletwa kule uh, kulingana na housing uh, levy uh, pia universal health coverage ni kesi ambazo kuna mkono nyuma ya watu ambao wameleta hizo kesi. Kwa hivyo right. zijaletwa hasoa ili kuhakikisha kwamba zinanufaisha wa Kenya. Uh-huh. Na tukumbuke ya kwamba rais the back stops with him. Okay. Kama Kenya ikifeli basi tutasema president William Samoei Ruto mm. ali kosa kufanya kazi, mm. uh, alikosa kufanya alivyotuahidi na alivyotuahidi moja ya um, vitu alivyotuahidi ama alivyoahidi wa Kenya ni universal health coverage. Okay. Moja ya zingine ni housing levy. Mm. Kwa hivyo rais pia ana kama the head wa executive. Okay. Ana pia hiyo um, nafasi ya kulalamika na kusema ya kwamba hapa na hapa mambo hayaendi vizuri mm-hmm. na kihisi ya kwamba e, maamuzi yanayofanywa na upande wa mahakama uh, ni kwa sababu labda ya ufisadi ama kwa sababu labda mtu fulani ame, amewekeza pesa pale ili ahakikishe kwamba serikali haifanyi uh, kazi yake ama ilivyoambilia wa Kenya lazima azungumze na kisha kwamba uh, he is taking the lead as executive arm of government okay lakini kama kitu ni makosa si mahakama lazima itasimamisha is that frustrating Really? Uh, wajua uh, mahakama kweli lazima ifanye kazi yake mm-hmm. na mimi hata kama wakili na heshimu mahakama maana yeah. kama hatungekuwa na mahakama e, tungekuwa kama banana republic yeah. lakini tukumbuke ya kwamba pia rais kuna vitu ambavyo aliahidi wa Kenya mm-hmm. na aliomba kura zake uh, kulingana na the plan okay. na part of the plan nimesema ni mambo ambayo labda mahakama imeonelea Uh, kuna taswishi ama kuna tatizo fulani uh, na pia kama rais yeye ndio tutauliza maswali miaka tano ikiisha kwa okay. wakati mwingine kweli ni vigumu kuwa rais lakini wakati mwingine lazima as the head of that family the unit uh-huh. uh, aseme ya kwamba hapa kweli uh, wewe umeona hivi lakini mimi kama rais wa Kenya nimeonelea kweli wa Kenya ndio wanaumia uh, maana kuna vijana wengi sana wamepata kazi kutoka na uh, the housing affordable housing yes. uh, pia kuna watu watapata manufaa sana uh-huh. tukipata universal health coverage unapata kuna watu kweli hata hawawezi kujikimu kimaisha kwa hivyo wanafaa wasaidike kupata uh, maximum coverage in terms of health okay. kwa hivyo rais lazima wakati mwingine afanye hizo decisions they are hard they are tough uh, they are very very be from us they look like they are bad decisions uh-huh. lakini najua ya kwamba kama rais ameona kweli uh, lazima afanye hivyo na yeye kusema kwamba ataendelea na mpango wa affordable housing licha ya kwamba mahakama imesimamisha hii si ni ishara tosha ya kwamba he's a president who does not respect the judiciary mheshimiwa Uh, wajua tumekuwa na pia the previous government yeah. uh, wajua pia uh, kulikuwa na decisions nyingi sana ambazo uh-huh. wakufuata okay. uh, kwa hivyo najua rais alipoingia alitaka sana uh, na hadi wale wametaka sana ku support independence ya judiciary uh-huh. lakini kama nilivyosema kuna vitu ambavyo waliahidi wa Kenya na lazima angalie kitu tunaita uh, the maximum uh, benefit uh-huh. ama public interest okay. uh, kweli wa Kenya watanufaika kuspo uh, jengwa uh, nyumba za affordable housing ama hawatanufaika okay. na kama rais yeye ndo tauliza maswali kwa hivyo yes kweli Uh, atakuwa amekosea lakini atakuwa amesaidia wa Kenya wengi mm-hmm. kwa kosea kwake kutofuata uh, amri ya upande wa mahakama. Alright. Um, labda tukiachana na hayo ni kwamba kwa upande wa kiongozi au party leader wa chama cha ODM Raila Odinga amesema kwamba judiciary haifai kwenda kwa mazungumzo na serikali ya Dr. William Ruto ama executive manake kwa njia moja au nyingine watakuwa na hujumu utenda kazi wa judiciary. Is it a wise decision kawao kwenda kufanya dialogue? Uh, mimi nashangaa maana kwa mazungumzo na, ma, ma, na kauli ya Raila Odinga kwamba no, tusifanye mazungumzo kila mtu afanye kazi yake vile inavyostahili. 
Unajua mazungumzo hata sasa hivi tunazungumza. <coughs> na mazungumzo haimaanishi ya kwamba uh, kitu ambacho labda utasema mimi nitakifuata. Okay. Mazungumzo inahakikisha kwamba ufisadi ambao uko kwa judiciary. Uh-huh. Maana tunajua mwaka wa 2003 kulikuwa na ile radical surgery ambayo uh-huh. ilifanywa na former president uh-huh. eh, Moi Kibaki okay. ambayo ilitoa ile ya Aaron Ngera ilitoa watu kama kina uh, Philip uh, Waki uh, Justice na wengineo. Uh-huh. Uh, na pia ili, ilisemekana ya kwamba ilikuwa targeted uh-huh. ya kwamba kuna watu walionelea labda wewe uh, unafanya maamuzi labda ambayo hayanifurahishi uh-huh. uh, na kwa 2020 constitution tukaweka ile tunaita um, security of tenure okay. na tukaweka uh, eh, judicial service commission ambayo no. inafaa kuhakikisha kwamba inafanya investigations uh, zinazofaa uh, into may, any malpractices uh-huh. eh, ama any ultraviolence decisions za uh-huh. eh, judges okay. eh, lakini ukakuta ya kwamba sasa president haizi kusema unajua kuna watu wanasema kama kuna ufisadi basi safisha uh-huh. lakini yeye mwenyewe haizi kusafisha manake kuna zile institutions ambazo tuliweka kwenye constitution okay. kwa hivyo ni lazima sasa tuwe na mazungumzo uh-huh. manake kama hizo institutions sasa zimetekwa nyara lazima tuwe na conversation what is the way forward na nimesema realms of government lazima zifanye kazi pamoja yeah. manake pasipo basi wa Kenya wataumia okay so lazima wakae chini wazungumze there is no option about that Yes that is the only way forward. Okay. Manake hatutaki hata kuona hizi vuta nkuvute. Uh-huh. Kama wangekuwa wamezungumza about the way forward on the regarding the corruption. Sio independence of judiciary. Manake independence of judiciary lazima ikuwe protected at all times. Lakini regarding that corruption mimi najua na mimi ni wakili ya kwamba we need to clean up our judicial system. Okay. Ulisikia kauli ya naibu rais Juzi regarding ya shagu akisema kwamba ako tayari na kesho ndo atakuwa anapeleka petition ya kutaka justice Esther Maina aondolewe kwa sababu alikuwa na hando ile kesi yake ya 200 million what's your take on that mheshimiwa uh, ujua deputy president pia ni mkenya uh-huh. na ana haki kama mkenya yeyote right. kwa hivyo kama na uh, anaonelea ya kwamba yeye ana malalamisho yoyote ana haki ya kuyafikisha mbele mm. na kama mwakili wake wanajua ya kwamba uh, wako na evidence against that maana tunajua kwamba eh, kulikuwa na mazungumzo na tuliona ya kwamba E, watu wengi e, in the justice sector uh, walitumika politically in the last government kukandamiza watu ambao walikuwa kutanukuta waungi serikali ambayo ilikuwa mm-hmm. uh, mkono mm-hmm. kwa hivyo kama ameonelea basi ni sawa na ana haki kama mkenya yeah. na ni vizuri manake e, anafuata ile procedure ambayo inafaa okay alright wacha tuingilie katika siasa za Kirinyaga na nafikiri kwa sababu Uh, juzi niliona mlikuwa mnalalamika kama wabunge ambao mnakaa katika bunge la kitaifa ya kwamba CDF haijaingia najua uh, mfuko wako sio wa CDF lakini uko na mfuko wa ngaf ambao unauangalia je pesa zimeingia bado hazijaingia right. uh, na kwanza niseme ya kwamba uh, kama viongozi tunafaa tufikirie nini itanufaisha wa Kenya kabisa okay. Okay. Uh, sasa hivi kweli tutataka kuwa na bursaries mm-hmm. lakini kuangalia into the future tunafaa tufikirie vile uh, upande wa elimu utakuwa funded from a central point ikuwe okay. ya kwamba Eh, primary education secondary education is entirely free. Okay. Eh, na najua kwamba of course it's not a popular opinion among politicians. Uh-huh. Manake watu wanataka kuzipeleka zile labda kuomba kura. Lakini uh-huh. tufikirie ya kwamba what do we want to do for Kenyans? Okay. Kama tuko na universal health coverage mimi najua kwamba hata free primary and secondary education tunaweza kuifanya. Okay. Isiwe ya kwamba watoto wanategemea eti bursaries. Manake kuna watoto wengine nidi sana hata hawawezi kufikua na hizo bursaries. Uh-huh. Okay, so tukue na mfuko mmoja ambao itakuwa inahakikisha kwamba primary na secondary education is free kabisa kabisa sio subsidized maana yake sasa hivi iko subsidized okay. ikuwe free kabisa kabisa ikuwe mzazi labda ananunua tu karo mtoto anaenda shule kwa hivyo tuachane na haya mambo ya bursaries ambayo unasema kuna baadhi wa wanasiasa wanaitumia kama mileage ya wao kuweza kupigiwa kura uh, kabisa na pia unaonelea kwamba kuna ile tunaita uh, tunaita duplication uh-huh labda MCA ako na zake, governor ako na zake, woman rep ako na zake, MP ako na zake. Uh-huh. Unakuta kwamba kuna wengine wananufaika zaidi uh, on, um, na wengine hawa pati basari yoyote. Yeah. Kwa hivyo it is not it is not fair. Manake mimi nikijua mtoto wa Kirinyaga atasoma bure bure kabisa. Kwa nini nitake tena kupoa basari? Okay. Na lazima kama viongozi tufikirie uh, vile tutanufaisha. E, watu wetu lakini of course najua sana sana wanasiasa wanataka kuzitumia kwa siasa kusema oh wajua nimesomesha watoto uh-huh. uh, lakini kweli kazi yenye tunafaa kufanya ni kuhakikisha kwamba education is uh, absolutely free una, una mpango labda kupeleka mswada katika bunge la kitaifa kusema kwamba we need to make all this free to do away with bursaries 
Uh, nimesema in the future. Okay. Maana kesionele ya kwamba uh, huo ni mswada ambao unaweza kupitishwa kwenye hii bunge ambao tuko nao. Lakini najua ya kwamba uh-huh. in future manake young people are taking uh, over leadership. Yes. Najua au wanaonelea na wanaona mbele na wanaona ya kwamba wanataka kufanya vitu ambavyo vinanufaisha uh-huh. uh, wa Kenya wa pale chini. So lifanyaje sasa kwa wananchi wa ama wakazi wa Kirinyaga kuhakikisha kwamba Skuli zilikuwa zimefunguliwa juzi kuhakikisha kwamba wamerudi shule na wao. What nilikuwa, did you do? Nilikuwa nimefanya mpango uh-huh. um, uh, pesa ambayo napata ya basari. Uh-huh. Uh, so so nyingi. Manake mimi ni county MP. Yes. E, na county MP kila constituency tunapata shilingi milioni saba. Okay. Na sio saba za basari pekee. Hizo milioni saba zinahakikisha kwamba umefanya administrative, umepeana ile pesa ya kina mama ya economic empowerment, uh-huh. umejenga labda refurbishment ya shule fulani hapa kule, umefanya value addition. Kwa hivyo ukigawa hizo pesa labda basari inabaki kama kwa mwaka milioni moja na ni county nzima. Wow. Kwa hivyo watu wale ambao labda wanafunzi na nufaisha kabisa ni wale total orphans na PWDs. Mm-hmm. Mimi nilikuwa kwa nimefanya mpango last year tunaita uh, pale Kirinyaga tupange kesho initiative yes. uh, tupange kesho na masomo uh-huh. na nimepeleka uh, watoto mia moja full scholarship kutoka form 1 to form 4 kwa hii lot ambayo ili yes. wow yes 100 students full 100 scholarship students, kutoka full form 1 mpaka form 4 wow yes. na hao watamaliza bila shida yoyote kabisa kabisa kando na masuala ya masomo what else have you done kupitia kwa mfuko wa ngafu mheshimiwa this ni mwaka mmoja hivi sasa na miezi kadhaa mm. oh. nimepeana zaidi ya shilingi milioni tano uh-huh. uh, kwa women economic empowerment okay. na nimepea zaidi ya group sitini pale Kirinyaga County waweze kujijenga PWD women na youth pia uh-huh. pia pale Kirinyaga uh, tunafanya dormitory uh, ya watoto wetu pale Raimo Primary ambao hawajiwezi ama wako specially abled uh, na hiyo dormitory ni ya 5 million pale Kirinyaga pia tumeweka stima mm. e, uh, ya mwisho ambao tulifanya ni pale Kibingoti market tumefanya street lighting ili kuhakikisha kwamba kina mama manake ndo wanatafuta sana sana kwenye soko mm-hmm. wanaweza e, kufika nyumbani Uh, wakiwa ama kufanya biashara zao wakiwa safe na pia kuhakikisha kwamba wanaweza kufanya kazi kabisa kabisa hadi uh, wakati wa jioni. Okay. Uh, pale Kirinyaga County pia tumehakikisha kwamba uh, tumeweza uh, kuweka pale kwenye bunge 500 yeah. uh, million uh-huh. uh, ili tujenge pale uh, economic processing zone pale kwa Industrial Park yes. Sagana uh-huh. ili vijana wetu wapate kazi. Okay. Kama mwakilishi wa kike pia nimeweza kuleta sheria kule bungeni niko na bills mbili ambazo zitakuwa zikiendelezwa uh-huh. kuna ile bill uh, ya mm, ya health amendment ambayo inahakikisha kwamba wajua watu wakishindwa kulipa bili ya hospitali hawafungiwi uh-huh. ama labda hata wakifariki hawafungiwi kama kweli kabisa imeweza kuangaliwa na kuonekana ya kwamba ni vile hawawezi kulipa hawana uwezo okay. na kuna zile policies tutakuwa tunafanya kuna pia ile KSL amendment bill uh-huh. e, kuna vijana wetu more than 3000 in Kenya ambao hawajaweza kujoin Kenya School of Law manake kuna requirement issues ile ya B+ in English tuko na hiyo uh, amendment uh, na tutakuwa tunaileta pale bunge tukirizium ili tuhakishe wanaweza kujoin uh, Kenya School of Law wakuwe mawakili yeah. waendelee na maisha And, na governor has been supportive governor Anwar Iguro E, wajua mimi na governor kabisa kabisa hatusikizani okay. uh, na pia hatufanyi kazi pamoja uh-huh. uh, kwa hivyo kila mtu anafanya kazi yake kivyake na ni vizuri kwa... manake mimi ni kwa government uh, i think hata imekuwa in the public domain yeah. wajua kumekuwa na vuta nikuvute na mimi kukuwa na vuta nikuvute mimi na jiondoa nifanyie wananchi kazi manake yao ndo walinituma nifanye kazi uh-huh. na tukikumbuka governor anaondoka uh-huh. anamaliza tamia kwa hivyo lazima nifikirie E, ha- upande ambao nitaegemea ni wawanjiko sio wapi how many years by the way amepiga In... this is the second time anafanya this is the second time yes. so anaondoka kabisa okay mm, na unajua wanasiasa ukiondoka kwa local politics eh. Eh, basi uende kazi nyingine una plan Manake... una plan kuchukua hiyo kiti labda that's ha, why sina I'm... haraka kabisa kabisa okay. sina haraka nataka kwanza ni kuwe kwenye siasa uh-huh. eh, i will be defending my seat that is the first priority okay. manake hatuwezi sema kabisa kabisa nini kitafanyika 2027 lakini eh, my intention ni kudefend kiti changu ili niendelee kufanyia watu uh, wa What really happened between you and Governor Anwar Igoro? Uh, nafikiri ya kwamba ni uh, 
ni difference in ideology okay. uh, na pia kuwa ya kwamba mimi ni mtu ambaye wajua mimi ni wakili mimi niko uh, i have a very independent mind uh-huh. kwa hivyo labda kuna watu walifikiria kwamba nikichaguliwa viongozi pale Kirinyaga uh, nitakuwa mtu wa kuomboa tufanye hivi tuende hivi uh, lakini mimi nina msimamo wangu uh-huh. manake mimi my intention ilikuwa kufanyia watu wa Kirinyaga kazi ndio okay. maana niliomba kazi uh-huh. si kuomba kazi ili uh, nipate urafiki na viongozi fulani ulikataa kuwa praise and worship kwa hivyo nafikiria kwamba ni differences there manake pale kama kuna tatizo lote watu waniambie mimi nitazungumzia okay. maana walinichagua mimi ni sauti yao uh-huh. wacha tuingilie siasa za mlima Kenya lakini kwanza wacha tusikie seneta anasemaje hapa wa kaunti ya Muranga somebody who has been talking about the disrespect that uh, the honorable uh, uhuru kenyatta had well he is actually worse he thinks that some of us are trash regardi gashagwa get an opportunity to serve one term as the deputy president dede nyoro get an opportunity to serve one term from 2027 as a deputy president 2032 they will decide what they want to do okay naona siasa zimeshaanza mheshimiwa siasa za mlima Kenya already ni kama zimeshaanza tuko na kama miaka mitatu tu hivi kabla ya kuelekea katika uchaguzi mkuu lakini nikana kwamba tayari huko mambo imechemuka <laughs> anyway ikiwa ndo mwanzo najiunga nasi na kukumbusha tu ndani ya studio zetu asubuhi ya leo tuko naye mheshimiwa ndani ya studio zetu hapa tukiwa tunazungumzia uh, bila shaka siasa za mlima Kenya siasa za taifa la Kenya mheshimiwa Njeri Maina ambaye ni women representative kutoka katika county ya Kirinyaga. What is going on kutoka mlima Kenya Muhesh? We tuko na three more years to go. Wajua nashangaa kama tumefika hapa sasa hivi basi wakati wa kampeni itakuwa vipi. Yeah. Eh, wajua watu watakuwa na zabana makofi. Uh-huh. Eh mimi niseme ya kwamba uh, inasikitisha kuona ya kwamba tunaendelea kusambaratisha mlima. Mm. Tunajua kwamba in the last election eh, kulikuwa na two different factions. Yeah. Kulikuwa na upande ambao uliegemea uh, Jubilee kuna upande ambao uliegemea UDA. Mm-hmm. Uh, na nikosa sana. Uliegemea wapi? Ikuwe ya kwamba UDA waona hata party colors mimi nimevaa. Yeah. Uoni yani rangi tu kiangalia Naona. unaona yellow. <laughs> By the way she's on yellow. Uh-huh. So ilikuwa kwa UDA. Kwa hivyo niseme ya kwamba uh-huh. eh, it's very unfortunate. Manake sasa tulikuwa tunajaribu kuleta kila mtu pamoja okay. lakini tena watu wamekuja kuanza kusema oh sijui wafanye moja manake sijui wa, wa kikuyu wa muranga wame support sijui watu wa nyeri na kiambu sijui for how long Man, those things are trivialities cuz ukiangalia kama si basi kirinyaga tutasema nini uh-huh. wajua in the last election tulikuwa na Martha Karua ambaye alikuwa amepoa deputy position mm. upande wa azimio basi yeah. kama watu watapiga kura hivyo basi hata kirinyaga tutasema tuyegemea huu upande mm. kwa hivyo it's very eh, ni thinking ambayo hai, mtu wa kabisa akafikiria kweli what is the consequence of what i am saying na ni vibaya sana kama kiongozi ku set uh, a conversation ambayo tunajua ya kwamba itawasha moto na italeta mgawanyiko pale kwa region manake hata wewe kama uh, unapofanya kazi hapa unafikiria nini utapeleka nyumbani uh-huh. the most absolute thing uh, mount kenya region yafaa kufikiria ni nini tunapeleka nyumbani kama watu wa mount kenya nini okay. tunapata hata sio ni chama ambacho kiko popular hata sio nani yako pale jua na to represent mwanzo ni nini tunapata kama watu wa Mount Kenya region na mm. ni, it, it is very unfortunate that we are talking about this sasa hivi sasa nyo wa Kenya wanaumia watu wanataka kazi pale central region vijana wamegomewa eh, na alcohol issues mm. na drug substance abuse wajua yani tunafikiria nani mtu mmoja yani tunafikiria mtu mmoja nani atakayeongoza hatufikirii vijana wetu watasaidika vipi watatoka kwenye eh, tutawakomboa kwenye drug abuse vipi tutawataftia kazi vipi Eh, tutapanga kesho yao vipi and that is that is not seeing cuz a leader lazima aone mbele lazima angalie mbali you can know, you have to see beyond your nose hawezi tu kuangalia hapa <laughs> manake that is being uh, selfish mm-hmm. na kiongozi anachaguliwa ili ahakikishe kwamba anatetea maslahi ya watu wake okay. na lazima tuhakishe maslahi ya watu wa central kama region tumetetea and the only way ku defend na kutetea hayo maslahi ni kuhakikisha kwamba tuna caucus central region kama voting block yeah. sio kugawanyika mumepata maslahi size by the way uh, katika hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza kama mount kenya region eh, kabisa pale Kirinyaga county uh-huh. tunajenga tuna na tuna launch eh, industrial park okay. eh, tume tunafanya two affordable housing programs mm-hmm. kuna pale Kirugoya kuna upande wa Gishugu eh, juzi tu rais alikuja ku eh, launch barabara ambayo itakava 60 kilometers mm-hmm. belt mm-hmm. that is going to connect um, Gishugu 
uh, Kirinyaga Central na pia uh, upande wa Ndia. Okay. Kwa hivyo kweli tunaona manufaa ya serikali. Yeah. Lakini e, kama ni, nilivyosema lazima tukoka sasa region ili tupate maximum benefit. Okay. Na do you support uh, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagua? au wewe pia ni wale wanasema kwamba wacha Rigathi Gashagua afanye the first five, five, the first term ya five years and then after that apishe ndindi nyoro aendelee kama deputy wa Dr. William Ruto. Ah mimi kabisa kabisa na muunga mkono wa deputy president Rigathi Gashagua. Uh-huh. Amalize eh, na what we should be focusing on ni kuwapa support kama president na deputy president eh, ili waweze kumaliza uh, the two terms. Okay. Manake hata hatujapata the second term. Wajua? Uh-huh. Lazima kwanza tufikirie tutamaliza hivi, tutafanywa Kenya kazi vipi ili tuweze kujipanga tupate second term. Uh-huh. Lakini sio eti nani atakuwa pale juu hapana. Okay. Na tukimalizia malizia naona zimesalia kama dakika tatu. This one we have to speak about Mwesha na tumeona killings ambazo zimekuwa zikiendelea za kina dada wetu katika Airbnbs. What's your take on that? inasikitisha yeah. e, inasikitisha sana e, kama hata mwakilishi wa kike e, na tumesema ya kwamba kama woman rep sukirudi pale bunge manake tuko um, recess recess sasa okay. hivi uh-huh. kirudi session tutahakikisha kwamba uh, tume amend sheria okay. uh, ya Airbnb uh-huh. e, na pia tukue na uh, fund ambayo oh, ina support uh, gender based victims yeah. ana pia ni ya kwamba that is a very complex issue yeah. manake hata tukitengeneza sheria zozote gani uh-huh. um, there will still be loopholes manake unakuta kama hata kuna statement ya Airbnb wametoa wakasema zile nyumba they were not under Airbnb uh-huh. manake tena uh, wakenya wajua wana, wanapenda ku modify vitu sasa hata wewe ukijisikia utakuwa na ka Airbnb pale kwako ukodishe utaandika tu Airbnb na nini waona hata pale key amba, uh, ambayo um, ilikuwa ya ile nyumba ilichukuliwa uh-huh. wajua that setup is not safe uh, kwa hivyo pia pale hakukuwa na CCTV lazima tufikirie pia kama wa Kenya we need to have this conversation it is not only about legislation yeah. tutatengeneza sheria kweli lakini even our um, najua kitu kama morality haiwezi kuregulatiwa kwa mm-hmm. sheria mm-hmm. mimi hauwezi kunipanga nitafanya vipi ama nitaishi maisha yangu vipi on a moral level on a legal perspective yes lakini kama wa Kenya lazima pia tukue na that conversation. Tumeona hata wakati uh, kulikuwa na covid. Wajua kulikuwa na ile sju covid club, mm. tumeona uh, Instagram, tumeona TikTok. Wajua wasichana wetu wanakuwa kifikiria kwamba they want an easy and fast life. They yeah. want fast money. Yeah. Lazima pia tuhakikishe kwamba eh, kanisa inachukua jukumu. Eh, wazazi wanachukua jukumu. Community pia inachukua jukumu. Ya yeah. kwamba our social morality is at the lowest level if i can say that okay. lazima pia tuhakikishe kwamba tunazungumzia hao maneno maana yake sheria tutaunda kweli lakini mimi nitakuangalia unaishi vipi unafanya vipi sasa uh-huh. kuangalia uh-huh. eh? na tunajua kwamba eh, tunasema kwamba prostitution ama usherati is illegal in Kenya lakini bado watu wanafanya mm. kwa hivyo sio kukatazwa na sheria pekee lazima pia kama sisi watu binafsi tukue na ile tunaita retrospect yeah. tujiangalie undani undani kweli ni wapi na wapi tunakosea tuangalie pia kama upande wa um, enforcement arm of government the police sector wajua yeah. ile kesi ya matara kulikuwa kumefanywa more than 17 reports mm-hmm. the corruption that is there is wanting mm-hmm. what do we do about it i mean that killing could have been prevented kama polisi wetu wangekuwa wanachukua initiative tumeona in developed democracies they take issues seriously okay. wajua lakini hapa labda mtu akija atoe hongo anaachiliwa mm. so we must speak into these issues maana hata sheria tukiunda haitawanufaisha kama hizi vitu zingine hatujazungumzia hatu na kuhakikisha kwamba tumerekebisha right mwesh zungumza na mkenya ambaye anakusikiliza asubuhi ya leo tukimalizia mimi nataka uh, nisalimie kila mkenya ambaye anasikiza yeah. na nimuisha happy new year najua kweli tumeanza mwaka kwa kishindo lakini tuwe na tumaini eh, ya kwamba mambo yatabadilika na kila siku tujitume manake tusipojituma na tupokuwa na matumaini basi uh, hamna hata haja ya kuishi maisha kwa hivyo pale ulipo kama kuna kitu unataka kuanzia anzia start small anzia yeah. tu pole pole usione kwamba hauna connections hauna godfather hauna nini wewe anzia tu manake grace ya Mungu E, ikikuloketa ama ikupate kwa safari najua ya kwamba uh, utapata manufaa and there is hope actually yes okay 
Sante sana tumekuwa naye mheshimiwa Njeri Maina ambaye ni women representative kutoka katika kaunti ya Kirinyaga. She is also a lawyer. Sante sana mheshimiwa Njeri Maina kwa kuweza kuwa nasi ndani ya studio zetu asubuhi ya leo na kutupatia mawili matatu na kama alivyosema there is hope. Tuanze mahali ambapo tunafaa kuanza. Asante sana mwesh na hopefully tutaengage zaidi mwaka huu. Shukran. Asante sana kwa kuweza kuwa nasi ndani ya bunge la